Mokaku is a leading figure in theoretical physics, renowned for making complex ideas more accessible. With decades of research into the universe's mysteries, his latest insights into quantum physics have stirred both wonder and concern. Quantum physics, the study of the smallest scales of reality, is more than just an academic pursuit. It actively shapes our world and could have far-reaching consequences for humanity's future. However, Kaku's revelations highlight not only the potential of quantum mechanics, but also the risks it carries. To grasp why his recent statements are so unsettling, we must first explore the fundamental nature of quantum physics. Quantum physics explores the fundamental components of the universe, tiny particles such as electrons, photons, and quarks, that challenge our traditional perception of reality. These particles behave in strange, unpredictable ways, capable of existing in multiple places at once, teleporting across space, and instantly affecting one another across vast distances. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, occurs when two particles become interconnected, ensuring that any change in one instantly influences the other, regardless of the distance between them. Albert Einstein famously described this as spooky action at a distance, highlighting one of the most fascinating principles driving the quantum revolution. Although entanglement may seem like an unusual aspect of the quantum realm, it has significant implications for both technology and society. Quantum entanglement serves as the cornerstone of quantum computing, a field poised to transform industries ranging from medicine to artificial intelligence. However, as Mokaku cautions, the same principles that promise groundbreaking advancements also introduce risks that we are only beginning to grasp. Consider quantum computing. Unlike traditional computers that process information using binary bits, quantum computers rely on qubits. Due to a phenomenon called superposition, these qubits can exist in multiple states at once. Quantum computers have the potential to execute calculations at speeds unimaginable by today's standards. Theoretically, they could solve problems in mere seconds that would take classical computers millions of years. The possibilities are vast. Quantum computing could lead to groundbreaking medical discoveries, enhance global supply chain efficiency, and transform artificial intelligence. However, as Michio Kaku warns, this immense power comes with risks. Quantum computers could also dismantle modern encryption methods, rendering existing cybersecurity protections ineffective. Imagine a world where every bank account, government system, and private conversation is at risk of being compromised. This is the potential future quantum computing could bring if it falls into the wrong hands. Michio Kaku has described this as a looming quantum arms race, with nations and corporations pouring billions into research, each striving for dominance in this revolutionary field. The stakes are immense. Whoever emerges victorious will wield unprecedented computational power and significant geopolitical influence. But what happens when this technology advances beyond our ability to comprehend or control? Kaku warns that we may be on the verge of creating machines that surpass our own understanding, posing unforeseen risks to humanity. Another intriguing challenge posed by the quantum world is its potential to reshape our perception of reality. Michio Kaku has extensively discussed the philosophical implications of quantum mechanics, particularly the multiverse theory. According to quantum physics, our universe may be just one of countless others. Like a single bubble within a vast multiverse, each governed by its own unique physical laws. This concept isn't mere speculation. It is reinforced by experiments highlighting the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. Before observation, a particle exists in a superposition of multiple possible states, only collapsing into a single state when measured. Some physicists believe this suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event takes place, each within its own distinct universe. If true, this idea poses deep questions about free will, consciousness, and the essence of existence. Could we be just one of countless versions of ourselves, each experiencing different possibilities in parallel realities? And if that's the case, how does it affect our understanding of identity and purpose? Kaku contends that these questions go beyond mere theory. They have tangible implications for how we perceive ourselves and our role in the universe. The most concerning aspect of Kaku's revelations lies in the notion that we might be meddling with forces we don't fully comprehend. 
Quantum mechanics operates on principles that vastly differ from the familiar laws of physics we experience daily. Although our understanding of the quantum realm has advanced significantly, there's still much that remains unknown. For instance, scientists have recently started investigating the possibility of creating artificial black holes in the lab. These aren't the massive black holes we observe in space, but miniature versions crafted by manipulating quantum fields. While this research is groundbreaking, it also brings up serious ethical and existential concerns. Could we inadvertently create a black hole that spirals out of control and devours everything nearby? Although most physicists consider this scenario unlikely, the mere possibility is enough to make us stop and think. Then, there's the issue of quantum artificial intelligence. As quantum computers advance, they could transform AI, enabling machines to process information and learn at speeds we've never seen before. This could lead to remarkable breakthroughs in fields like medicine, engineering, and many others. However, it might also result in the creation of AI systems that exceed human intelligence, a scenario that's both an opportunity and a potential existential risk. Mokaku has warned about the dangers of runaway AI, where machines become so sophisticated that they act in ways we can't predict or control. In a future driven by quantum technology, this risk could be even greater. AI systems built on quantum principles would operate according to the probabilistic nature of the quantum world, making their behavior unpredictable and possibly dangerous. AI isn't the only technology that poses a risk. Quantum technologies could also have unforeseen environmental impacts. Quantum experiments often depend on extremely low temperatures, which are achieved through cryogenic systems that use large amounts of energy. As the demand for quantum computing increases, so will its environmental impact. Kaku cautions that we must think about the broader consequences of quantum technology before rushing into an uncertain future. These impacts require careful consideration to avoid creating technologies that worsen the very issues they aim to address. However, perhaps the most unsettling possibility is that quantum mechanics could eventually reveal that our universe isn't as real as we perceive it to be. Some interpretations of quantum fix suggest that reality might be a type of simulation driven by underlying mathematical principles. If this is true, it raises profound questions about the creator of these rules and their purpose. Are we living in a simulated world crafted by an advanced intelligence? And if so, what would happen if we began altering the code? Michio Kaku has referred to this as the God question the idea that quantum physics could eventually unveil the ultimate nature of reality. While this possibility is awe-inspiring, it's also deeply disconcerting. If we are indeed in a simulation, what happens if we break the rules? Could our attempts to manipulate quantum systems unintentionally destabilize the very fabric of our existence? These are complex questions with no easy answers, highlighting the importance of caution as we navigate the quantum frontier. Once the box is opened, it cannot be shut, and you might not fully grasp the consequences of what you've set in motion. Take, for instance, the efforts of some researchers investigating the use of quantum entanglement for communication. This could lead to the instant transmission of information across vast distances, potentially transforming the field of telecommunications. However, what happens when we start entangling large quantities of particles on a global or even cosmic scale? Could we unknowingly create a network of entangled particles so expansive that it begins to affect macroscopic events in unpredictable ways? One particularly unsettling possibility involves the concept of quantum vacuum fluctuations. At the quantum level, empty space is not truly empty. It's a seething froth of particles popping in and out of existence. These fluctuations are usually harmless, but Kaku warns that large-scale quantum experiments could disturb this delicate balance. Some theorists have speculated that a sufficiently powerful quantum event could trigger a false vacuum decay, a catastrophic reconfiguration of the universe's fundamental structure. While this is purely theoretical at this point, the fact that it's even a possibility should give us pause. And then there's the question of quantum biology. Although quantum mechanics is primarily linked to physics, it also plays an essential role in biological processes. 
Research has shown that quantum effects may influence key biological functions, such as those involved in photosynthesis, bird navigation, and even human consciousness. This brings up intriguing questions about the essence of life itself. If biological systems are inherently quantum, what might occur if we start manipulating quantum processes on a larger scale? Could we unknowingly disrupt the fragile quantum mechanisms that underpin life? Kaku has also addressed the ethical concerns surrounding quantum technology, especially in the field of artificial intelligence. As quantum computers become more powerful, they could enable the creation of AI systems that far surpass human intelligence. These quantum-powered AIs wouldn't just be faster or more efficient than current AI, they would think in fundamentally different ways. A quantum AI could process multiple possibilities simultaneously, making decisions and solving problems in ways that are incomprehensible to the human mind. While this might sound like a utopian vision of progress, it also presents unprecedented risks. Kaku cautions that the rise of quantum AI could turn into a dystopian disaster. Rather than merely serving as a tool, a quantum AI could evolve into a new form of intelligence with its own objectives potentially diverging from human interests. If such an AI were to turn against humanity, it could represent an existential threat, and due to the unpredictable nature of quantum systems, we might not realize the danger until it's too late. This unpredictability also extends to quantum warfare. Kaku highlights that quantum technology could transform military tactics, possibly giving rise to quantum weapons. These might include devices that use quantum entanglement to disrupt enemy communications or even quantum-guided missiles that can avoid detection. The possibility of quantum warfare raises significant ethical and geopolitical issues. In a world where quantum technology is weaponized, how can we ensure it is used responsibly? One of Kaku's most alarming warnings is about the possibility of a quantum runaway effect. As we continue to push the boundaries of quantum research, we're venturing into uncharted territory. Kaku compares this to the early days of nuclear physics when scientists were exploring the potential of splitting the atom. At the time, some researchers worried that a nuclear explosion might trigger a chain reaction that would ignite the Earth's atmosphere. While this fear turned out to be unfounded, it underscores the risks of exploring phenomena we don't fully understand. In the case of quantum mechanics, the risks are even greater because we're dealing with the fundamental building blocks of reality. If we were to inadvertently destabilize a quantum system on a large scale, the consequences could be catastrophic. Kaku warns that we need to approach this new frontier with caution, humility, and a deep respect for the unknown. However, it's not all bleak. Kaku also recognizes the vast potential of quantum technology in solving some of humanity's most pressing issues. For instance, quantum computers could revolutionize healthcare by simulating complex biological systems at a molecular level, paving the way for breakthroughs in drug development, personalized treatments, and even curing diseases that were once thought untreatable. Quantum mechanics could also play a crucial role in tackling climate change. With the help of quantum algorithms, we could optimize energy systems, advance renewable technologies, and even create new materials for carbon capture. In this regard, the quantum revolution presents not just a challenge, but an opportunity to build a better future. However, Kaku stresses that unlocking this potential will require careful planning and global collaboration. Given the immense power of quantum technology, it shouldn't be left to the discretion of individual nations or corporations. Instead, Kaku advocates for international agreements and ethical guidelines to ensure that quantum research is conducted with responsibility. This includes not only preventing the misuse of quantum technology, but also addressing its potential environmental impact. As we develop more advanced quantum systems, we need to ensure that they are sustainable and energy efficient. Education will also be crucial in navigating the quantum future. Kaku believes that quantum physics should be a core part of science education, starting at the high school level. By demystifying quantum mechanics and making it accessible to the public, we can ensure that future generations are equipped to understand and engage with this transformative field. Kaku's message ultimately carries a tone of cautious optimism. The quantum revolution presents both immense opportunities and substantial risks. 
As we stand at the threshold of this new era, the path forward is in our hands. Will we harness quantum technology to benefit humanity or allow it to spiral into chaos? The key lies in our ability to strike a balance, curiosity tempered by responsibility, exploration with prudence, and innovation guided by ethics. The stakes are higher than ever, and the time to act is now. The quantum future is inevitable, and as Kaku emphasizes, the choices we make today will shape the course of human civilization for generations. Will we meet the challenge, or will we become the architects of our own downfall? The decision is ours, and time is running out.